Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video I'm going to be taking you guys along a day in the life with me You guys are gonna see the things that I do the activities that I do with my kids along with the responsibilities that I have to take care of along with um, what I do as a mom because my son is enrolled in my program and I do a lot of things throughout the day that are gonna help me with my nighttime routine as a mom so Again, it's a lot of stuff that we're gonna cover today, but I am a mother of two. I have an eight-year-old that just left to school, and then I have a four-year-old that is still sleeping. He's been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm letting him sleep, but I did want to just mention to you guys that I do have two children of my own as well. So it is currently 7.53 in the morning. My program is from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Those are my hours of operation. I do, however, have a student that comes at 6.45, or like anywhere from 6.30 to to seven, so like 30 minutes prior to opening. I do have a student that does get here at that time. That parent does pay for um, that time, like that little slot. It's $5 for every half hour. So every day she pays $5 um, for that half hour window that she needs me before my hours of operation. So I do have currently two students with me. I do have a total of six children in my program. I believe one of them is gonna be absent today. Two of them are here and then we're just waiting for the rest. Um, again, it is 7.53. I am currently also writing receipts for the parents. Um, I do have this receipt book. I show it all the time in all of my videos. This is just what works for me. I buy these at Sam's Club and it comes with a pack of three. And I go through one book for the entire year. It depends on how many students you have and how many receipts you're making. But the receipt books do last me a decent amount of time. So I'm just making receipts right now. And then at 8 o'clock, I'm going to get the kids their breakfast started. Because that is the time that breakfast does start in my program. So I'm going to go ahead and just jot down what I got to jot down with the receipts. And I'll update you guys in a little bit. Okay, so my kids are currently eating breakfast. I'm not gonna show you guys what they're eating because I'm working on a video where I'm gonna show you guys the different meals that I have for the kids. So there's no point of me, not there's no point of me, but you guys will see like the different kinds of things that I offer for the kids in a different video. So they're eating breakfast right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start printing some things for the activities that we're gonna be doing for today. Um, it's just like some worksheets and pulling some other things out to be able to do with them as well if that makes any sense so this is the curriculum for the month of october like this is the binder where i keep everything and this is the map that we're working on so today is thursday so these are the things that we are going to be doing today but yesterday we had a craft that we didn't do so i'm going to go ahead and get that stuff ready as well everything is in here all i have to do is make copies of it like this is the craft that we're going to do today um and i made this sheet if that makes any sense this paper but I gotta get more copies because I have more kids. So I made this on my computer, so all I gotta do is print it. This is what it looks like last year, but I wanted it to look a little bit more organized, so I felt like typing it made it look nicer. I don't know, which one do you think looks better? They both look good, but I like it like this better. So I'm gonna go ahead and make copies of this so that I have enough for the daycare kids, and then I do need to make a copy of this because this is the coloring sheet that we are gonna be working on, and then I gotta make copies of this because this is something else that we're doing as well today. So I'm an idiot because I made, oh, well, I'm supposed to make copies of this and I pushed black instead of color. So it came out like this instead of this, but it's okay. I still feel like it's, I mean, it's Halloween-ish. It's just vampires have blood. So I thought that's why I would put red, but it came out like this. So I made copies of all of that. I'm just gonna cut it out so that it's set. This is gonna be my master copy, so I'm just gonna keep it in my curriculum binder. And then I did make copies of all of this. I have to see if I could find some other things, um, like work-wise, that is not Halloween related, because I do have a student here that, that isn't allowed to participate in a lot of the Halloween stuff that we're doing. Their family doesn't celebrate it. So I'm trying to see what I can pull really quickly, because I plan my curriculum and everything. Um, I mean, the only thing that's not Halloween related is like the G. But like for this, I wanted to show you guys these too. There's so many things that I have to talk to you guys about. But because I haven't been uploading, I feel like this video I'm going to be talking a lot. But um, what are these called? Seek and Find? My kids love these. The Seek and Find worksheets. If you look at it, it has the objects that they have to find. And they have to find these within the picture. This is a really good activity for like three and four year olds. Um, like 
three and a half and four year olds that want that you want to have focus and i want to say that because a lot of the times with coloring worksheets or matching worksheets you give it to them and then in like three seconds they're done but these are really 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 good i love them the kids can find the objects and color it so it takes more time so i do have a few of these the website that i got it on it says woojunior.com it's down there on the bottom if you guys see it so it's there right there and if you guys want to check it out you guys can they have a lot of different um halloween seek and find worksheets so you can check them out but again i'm just gonna see if i could find maybe some of the seek and finds for her because she likes those that are not halloween related so i'm gonna go on my phone really quickly and see if i could find a few print them and then i'll show you guys what they look like in case you guys have the same situation as me my kids are now having inside play we did a lot but we still have a lot to do so i think that after nap time um like after snack time and after nap time um we'll do the rest of the stuff my circle time or like a lot of the curriculum that i do is for the children that are older than two and my children that were older than two were like basically all absent this week until now so we have a lot of stuff to catch up with I have three students that are under two and three students that are older than two and I only had one of them this entire week the other two were absent so what I'm trying to say is, is again we have a lot to catch up on so the student that doesn't celebrate Halloween we did this craft and I think it looks so cute let me show you so this is the craft that we did I just wrote fall leaves and, and then these little leaves I had gotten from the dollar store so I just placed them on the sheet and then I put her handprints around it I think it looks so cute um, so I'm just letting it dry because I do have to draw something on it it's like lines I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done but it's just up here and it's drying right now all right guys so my kids are still having independent play inside I am going to label these diapers I have to go one by one and label them every like every diaper with a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while they play. I also turned on the stove. I'm gonna start cooking lunch for them. Um, it's gonna be a simple lunch. Again, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is because I'm gonna be doing a video and I'm gonna show you guys like the plates and stuff. I have a few, like I have a um, an album on my phone and it has the daycare foods that I'm doing. And I think I'm almost done. Um, I just cook all the time and I forget to take pictures of it, but I need the pictures for the video. Thank you. Alright guys, so I'm currently in the hallway because I just laid my babies down and I don't want to make too much noise over there talking. And you guys probably won't even hear me over there because of the white noise that I got. It's this video on YouTube that um I use for the kids for nap time just so that any noise that I make or if there's any talking or anything like it's basically faded out or they can't even hear it because of the white noise sound that I have so the TV in my living room I literally put it up really high and then I play that and then they, they knock out um, so they really like it they go to sleep with it there's sometimes people that say like oh I don't know how they can sleep with that because it's so loud and whatever the case is but it works and the kids sleep with it I'm gonna wait for them to go to sleep. Um, Cause if I go over there right now and I start doing dishes or doing whatever, they're gonna wake up and they're just gonna wanna watch me. So I'm gonna wait until they're all asleep. And once they're all asleep, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my vegetables and um, cleaning the kitchen first and then getting the stuff for dinner ready right now so that I don't have to do it later. Um, and then organizing around the house. I normally do that during nap time. I also have to finish the craft, the Halloween craft that they did. And then, um, I'll just, I'll just go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for the kids to go to sleep and then I'll update you guys in a little bit.
what is up so it is like really later on in the day it's 8 26 in the night after um, nap time, the kids had their snack. After snack time, we did some of the worksheets that needed to get done that we didn't do in the morning. And then after that, it was like boom, 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 boom with like stuff to do. Excuse me. And then right after daycare, I had to go to the dealership. My car is currently in the dealership getting fixed. It's like the longest story, but I have a rental car and there's a lot of stuff that I have in my actual car that I haven't gotten. So I went to the dealership to go get that. So again, life happened, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Um, again, I'm trying to get consistent. It's just guys, I'm everywhere. Like life is crazy, but I'm going to try and make it happen. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like the vlog was pretty good in the beginning and then after nap time it was like woo so hopefully the video comes out good but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys are a new provider or thinking of becoming a provider if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments down below and you can also email me i do respond as much as i can to the comments and to the emails so if you guys have any questions or if you guys have video suggestions just leave them down below and i'll go ahead and get those filmed for you guys so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video.